The American Pet Product Manufacturers Association conducts a survey of pet owners to find out what the most popular animals being kept are. And reptiles are by far the fastest growing segment in the pet industry. Every one of these snakes has a name. We had a Wayne and a Garth and a Cassandra, and then Garth is now Garthina. It's a passion, it's a desire, it's something that they really need to have in their life. Over the next 15 or 16 years or so, if I can actually raise enough money off of those snakes to put my daughter through college. We definitely make well into the seven digits breeding snakes. I think people like reptiles because there's no other animal like them. They're very exotic, they're beautiful, the colors on reptiles can't be found on many other animals. There's no other animal like them, they're beautiful. Hatchling season has just started. We are expecting about uh, somewhere between 175 and 200 clutches of ball python eggs a season. Pretty much any snake that's ever born here, I consider that to be a little bit of a mini miracle. Breeders know almost exactly what genetic color morphs they will produce by doing simply what I like to call a Punnett square. We breed roughly a dozen species of frogs all out of the living room of a two-bedroom apartment. The first reptiles appear in the fossil record over 300 million years ago in the Carboniferous period of the Paleozoic era. It's a fantastic way to meet girls that's just been very effective and important. Everybody here is big-time reptile geek. 